So with an awesome morning's full driving completed, power lines tracked done and dusted, and nothing broken, and with the impending snow and rain forecast for the night, we decided to push on towards Moonrock to enjoy some piping hot pies and sausage rolls for lunch. Every area that we explore has its own unique, diverse and distinctive features, terrains and conditions. From the tracks themselves, to the landmarks and the local flora and fauna, even to the weather conditions. No two trips are ever the same, even to the same place most of the time. And the Lithgow Nunes area is no different, or should I say it is different, and is well known to many four-wheel drivers. Although the fires have dramatically changed the flora and fauna and vegetation for the area for this trip, you can sense what it would be like in full, with full coverage. But for us on this trip, it was kind of eerie and even a little bit spooky at times. The terrain and tracks were a mix of slippery smooth rocks and a greasy yellow sand. But I could imagine on a dry day, it'd be quite a different drive altogether. Up ahead, you can see Moon Rock at the top of the next hill. Moon Rock's like the holy grail for four wheel drivers. We couldn't wait to try and have a go at it. All we have to do is get to the bottom and assess the conditions and see which tracks we're going to take or not take. Yoink, that is some decent angle going on there, Curl. You're just checking out something on your passenger side. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? I didn't see anyone call for an Uber ride. Righto, young fella. Move along so I can get down and have a look and see what all the fuss was about. Yeah, it does look a little interesting. Aha, uh -huh. now I see what you were looking at, Curl. And yeah, that was a black spotted dung beetle fighting with an oversized flat winged ladybug. Hello, just a little bit of wheel if there to make things interesting. Hey Curl, don't forget the GoPro and a spare battery. Explain why we're doing this part. Huh? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Is it a pump drink stop? 
bit of commentary, run some commentary. We just made a bit of an executive decision on this one because when you look over here, we've got a few steps and a few gnarly rocky climbs. Aaron's going to bring the Jeep up here now and it looks fairly slippery. It'll be our test case. Not giving up yet. You know, Aaron, well enough. Three cracks is not enough. GoPro, but not the spare battery. So there's no actual footage of Aaron getting up Moon Rock. He did get up. We'll all be out. Have you done that get the jeep up through there but the rest of us are going to give it a miss today uh, just not not safe so we'll, we'll work for it for next time in the dry so we're just going to have a bite deep here and then head off to the lost city So with a tasty feed of hot pies and sausage rolls to warm our bellies, it was time to find our way to the Lost City. Now this is something I've been looking forward to all trip, finding and exploring parts of Australia's history, the things that make us who we are today, is what I love to do.
after establishing that this track was not the way out, it was time to backtrack along where we'd come from. Here. All four of us took different lines depending on what we wanted to achieve on the way out. But in the end we all got to the top. It's amazing just how much the weather can change in such a small area. It's very similar in the Bikai country. It can be rainy on one mountain top and nothing on the next. Sunny here, but cold and windy there. And I tell you what, today's weather was just like living in Melbourne. Four seasons in one day. With Aaron leading the way, it was nice just to follow along and really slow down and enjoy the drive and surroundings. There is a maze of tracks and trails up here, so if you do come up here, we recommend it to all four-wheel drivers and explorers. Make sure you come with someone that knows the area, or you have a good set of maps or a navigation system with you. And for us, we had Aaron. Aaron made a really big difference in the way we went about the weekend. Having someone that knew where he's going and had been to these places before really helped out. Cheers, mate. We appreciate it. We look forward to taking on one of our trips. It was only a short drive on the well-formed road and we were itching to get back onto the hard stuff. It's really difficult to believe in this day and age that people can cause such devastation from fires. Please make sure you put your fires out properly. Take the extra time, it's not that hard. All these places that we visit are so much better when they have their trees and vegetation. So that's what the underside of my roof looks like. It's usually hard to see from the inside. Ah, back under the power lines again, but not for too long. Those clouds do look pretty ominous. Let's hope the weather holds off until after we get to the Lost City. Today's drive, and even this weekend's drive, has challenged both Curl and myself in a lot of different ways to all of our trips. The off-road tradies wouldn't be possible without our sponsors and supporters. You can find the off-road tradies on Instagram and Facebook.